Welcome to Psycho Solutions. Today we're going to review the new Cold Metal Quick Disconnect luggage rack for the uh, Victory Motorcycles. Let me zip you on over to take a look at it already installed. So as you see, it is pretty well substantially a large luggage rack. Uh, much larger than stuff you get like on the Tomahawk, Sissy Bar for the Kingpin or Hammer Jackpot. Also this luggage rack works um, same style. They also have a flame model that is similar to look, and, look on this and fit. And it's a quick disconnect for the Hammer and the uh, Jackpot models. Basically all you need to install this, of course it comes disassembled with these two, two uh, struts right here. And then this top you bolt down with the chrome um, hex, lug, hex nuts. And what you also need, which we supply, is the bungee buttons, which go into your fender strut bolt holes. And right here, you can see me got it in here. This bolt right next to it is kind of the locking nut, which keeps it, you know, since it is quick disconnect, it just locks it in place, so it won't fly off, uh, which it won't, even without it, it won't come off. So you got two of those, it comes up, it's pretty sturdy, it's pretty pretty uh, well made. Um, I only had one issue <laughs> is getting some of the nuts in because on the top here, because the chrome was actually down inside some of the threads, but that was no, no real issue, just had to clean out the chrome a little bit, but that was the only complaint on this item. Um, my only other complaint is I have an 04, and on the 04, the early models, I have a wider passenger seat. I don't know if you can see this, I'll point it out. You can see it actually wings out. And even on the later model of force, the passenger seat was much narrower. So on mine with this with this wider passenger seat right here, uh, the quick disconnect really isn't quick disconnect because it'll hit my seat. But on the on the I think after the summer of 04 and later, the seats are narrower and this will just slip right off once you loosen the locking nut. Right there. If you loosen that. And then this thing will just, as you can see, the screws, it just lifts up right here. Lift this up on this hinge and then slide it right straight back. And let me give you some shots of it. Here's like the top looking down. And let me give you one more shot and I'll just wrap it up. Not much to it. I mean, it's a good little thing if you want to put your tour back over the sissy bar and sissy pad rear passenger seat. You just Stick it over the back and have it sit right onto the uh, luggage rack. And I'll zoom back here. Give you a wider shot. Just to give you a look at what the look is and the lines of the bike. It definitely looks good. I mean, I think it looks good. The, the struts are solid, but you can get them, like I said, in flame if you're into the uh, more of the flame look and feel. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we got a couple of these, and what you can also do, let me add this real quick, on this luggage rack, I already have the stock passenger backrest on, what you can do with these racks, like cool metal, is install one of these brackets right here, let me put it, you put one of these brackets on, this feeds into the rack, and it has a pad on it, like this. I don't know if you can see that, hold on. It has a pad, and so basically you get a lower profile backrest going off the rack. So that's an option you can add on to that. So not a bad item, pretty good. Not much out there as far as uh, lucky tracks for the kingpins and the victories. So definitely uh, getting there. Hope you enjoyed. Again, Cycle Solutions, thank you very much.